to another episode, episode, episode of Down at the Titans blog update for May 26th. Wednesday, May 26th. So a lot of you guys have noticed, but there is the blog update and the um, um, in-game down. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I guess so. Why do they have these? There's only like four Titans in here. But it says updates, events, schedules, and more. Visit the official Donald Titans blog and get all the latest information on what's happening in the Shatter Kingdoms and what lies just ahead on the horizon. Event calendar and timetable, which they need to update. Weekly game updates. Developer Q&A form and responses, patch notes and multiple update information, community links to Discord, YouTube, and more. Hit the link below and you'll see the battlefield. It's basically just push on a blog and then da da da, we're there! <laughs> so. And they have uh, redone the blog, so it's so the millstone rewards are written down like this, which for some people, oh there it is. At the other angle, it was harder to see. So you have okay, blind sport Tarhans starts twenty seventh. May, 50 UTC time ends on the 31st May, 9 UTC time. Tar hunts the legendary, the Wan God and a Fire Berserker returns to Shatter Kingdoms with his corrupted Grenadiers in debuffing era. So, doesn't look like they're reskilling him or anything. It's just it doesn't say reskill. It doesn't say anything. Although I can look like I, we can look at him in game and stuff. To see, now, I don't know if you guys, for the people that don't have them, I guess we can read the uh, the skills. I mean, I can do the end game too later. I think we'll just do is we'll just go and play with him for a second after we read the blog. Tarhans calls corrupted grenadiers in t into the reinforcement zone with reducing range attack distance, but plus four hundred percent health. That might be new. Tarhans calls corrupted grenadiers into the reinforced zone and reduced into the reinforced, but a uh, 400% health and 600% melee fire damage increased movement and speed unit size. Their health and melee damage make them formidable defenses for the front line of battle. Yeah, that's what that explains why they go in the front. Um, this is the brand new relic right here. Get the those powerful relics for the millstone rewards. You have Tarhans signal. Synergy Relic, 60% Corrupted Grenadier Armor Piercing, plus 50% Titan Troop Fire Damage, plus 40% Titan Troop Armor Piercing. When equipped to Tarhuns, level 5 Synergy increased Tarhuns Era Radius by 30%. Level 10 Synergy, every 7 seconds Tarhuns will shield up to 4 troops with his Era's Max 10. This Synergy Effect will Prostate Shielding Corrupted Troops within the Era. So, you have the egg of the Elicor, a bronze creature, hard to serve, and this one's also right here is new. Why is it doing that? Oh yeah, that's one of the bad things about. This is that it uh, keeps glitching. So we have this one here. This is the brand new one. This one is... We have 50% Titan Fire Damage. Uh, Titan Armor Piercing. We have... 
40% time trip on piercing on enemy death. 35% chance to cast fireball and meteors on four troops. 20% cooldown. Yep. You have one of the Egg of the Azor, which is the 64% Corrupted Grenadier Health, 36% Grenadier Armor Piercing, 18% Time Troop, all in Resist. I think I have the Egg. I'm missing the, I think I'm missing the Heart. Because I don't think I finished this event when it was out. Uh, you have Bronze Kirshar. Which is 18, 80% corrupted grenadier fire damage, plus 50% tank to fire damage, and 20% tank critical, or uh, grenadier critical. And then the heart of the Kishar is 80% corrupted grenadier armor, and 40% tank troop health, and 18% tank troop lane resist. If you're in that sort of things. So. We don't have much uh, relics in this event, though, unfortunately. You do have a super duper duper really old Titan at uh, four star one, at eight thousand souls. Uh, map map shot. So most likely, majority of the people are going to be using uh, this one for uh, prestige food. And Tarhuns himself is not, you have to even finish the event to get him. He's at 16,000 souls. But one, two, three, three of his signature relics come after him. So it's kind of like people think it's all, oh, I'm just about the Titan. Uh, those relics might actually help you. It's up to you to decide which, if they're, if they're good or not, or if you have something else. So you only have, for four star relics? One, two, three, four, five. Five four-star relics. Five of them. <laughs> you do have a, a, some fusion food up in here. You have a three-star um, three XP relic to help you get your Titan up. Um, you have some fusion right here, the, th the flame bar for getting your relics. Another Titan here, three-star Sadarn, level 15. Now, there was actually a power player that asked... Why do they have the three stars in here at all? Well, it is a fire event. Let's go to the very end at one event boost. So let's say you're first starting out. Let's say this is your first event, right? I mean, wouldn't it would it be so messed up that the devs gave you no boost until you got all the way up here to 8,000 souls? Yeah. So let's go take a look-see here. The three-star titan in this event will give you a 1.1 boost. And also, the Mabshot, which is a fire titan, very, I mean, like, one of the first ever, ever, ever titans in this event, never been updated, super duper old, is going to be a 1.2 boost, so all fire, all four-star fire titans. And then Tarhaz, which is in this event, is a 1.4 booster. And Everdor, which was in the last event, is also 1.4 booster, and Arius is uh, as well. And Nepalis, Nepalis the Divine Titan is still up there, the Divine Thing is 1.5. That's one of the few ones I don't have, and I wish I did, because it would just. Nepalis is just like, um. Uh, gonna be saving me a little bit of money if I had her. <laughs> But yeah, it's not really. You can't really be catching up on the Vine Titans and go ahead and, and do that. Um, so you have two new relics. Okay. Now, a lot of people just decide to ho go ahead and grind the whole entire event to get uh, to add up as many Divine Gems as possible, and. Other 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 things. Sometimes they, you can use it, everything in this event. So like, there's a two star Titan over here. Look at this. It's a two star Catish, right? Level 15. I use it for fusing up. It helps me defuse a Titan faster. Everything in here has a purpose. The bonus altar token. You know what I use those for? I save them up. I'm almost to 100. When I get to 100 myself, what I'm going to do with the bonus altar 
is I'm going to pull all of them, and there's going to be some four stars, and then some that are not. But that's going to be to help me level up more relics. It's just going to be mainly just fusion food. I'm not going to be using them. Uh, vent tokens. So, how many vent tokens in here? We got one. That helps a lot of free to play vent tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, six event tokens. And at 7,000 souls, you have an epic token. One, which can give you titans. One. There's one of those. I thought I saw another one. 7,000. Divine. So I think, is there just one or is that just, did I pass it? 7,000. Hey, Cursor Woods, welcome to the stream chat. So just one. Yeah, so there's only one Titan token in here, the Epic token. Yep. Um, and then Porter Stones, you have 50, 125, uh, yep, 225 right there. Yep. You have three, 350 right there. 350. Four, five twenty-five portal stones. Well, there's even more. Five, six, seven, seven hundred portal stones. Nice. Seven hundred. Seven, eight, nine, nine hundred twenty-five. That's a lot of portal stones. Well, really. And then uh, you have red gems. You have two thousand right there. Two, three, three thousand eight hundred, and then that's that one is a uh, three thousand and three hundred, three thousand six hundred, three thousand seven hundred. Looks like three thousand seven hundred red gems. That's that's a good amount. That's a good amount. Um. Do 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 divine did I count the divine gems? No, I didn't. I meant to do that first. So the divine gems start at two thousand souls. There's fifty right there. One fifty um three hundred five fifty five hundred and fifty divine uh gems. Which a lot of people are pushing for that right now to get the Archmage staff. Okay, so that that's the upcoming event. We also have uh, the ranking rewards. Alliance ranking rewards is the level sixty at rank one, and you go down to level fifty one to one hundred is the level one Tarhuns, and then at at uh, rank eight. As a 101 to 250 is a fire elemental token. And then at uh, 251 to 500 is the all element token. 2000 red gems is at 501 to 750 alliance ranks. And then 200 red, uh, red gems in the low is at 201 to 1000. And then um, at, after that is the Soul of War Uranus starts the 31st of May at 15 UC times and ends 3rd of June at 9 UC time. Uh, Veritas returns the realm with a new prestige skill and synergy relic that grants him more Omega units about. I know a lot of us were like, we were hoping um, for him to be reskilled. But yeah, no, he's not reskilled. He just has a new prestige. And I don't think I have him either. I thought I did. 44% uh, tiny base damage, 40% tiny critical and armor, 360 old human true fizzle damage, 234% militia health, three times omega spells, uh, militia omega, 225 archer fizzle damage, and there's 180% human troop armor, 100% archer. Armor piercing three times Omega Archer spells. 
So only two different types of Omegas. It's six... Six Omega troops extra on battlefield right there. 176 militia armor, 44% troop critical. Prestige at 10, which is this is the new one. This is the new prestige. Um, 70% base human troop damage. Unlock for prestige one every 15 seconds. Cast a spell from the sky on six enemies, max eight. That's probably going to be meter strikes. Just. Uh, unlock for Prestige 4. On a Mega Militia Summon, call 3 Militia and plus 200% time physical, uh, true physical damage, max 5. So 3 at once, max 5. That's 15 extra troops on the battlefield. So you have 3, you have 6. Now you have, um, if when you Prestige to 4, you're going to get, how many is that? That's 21 troops. Uh, a total total onto the battlefield extra that you can bring in not total I mean you know you have the troops that you come in but he gives those are free on a mega archer summon call three archers and two so there, so now we're 21 to so there's another 15 so that's 36 36 troops a hey, uh, Nadian welcome to the stream chat 36 troops right there if you get to seven unlock for prestige 10 10. On ally death, 50% uh, tighter troop armor and fizzle damage max 10. Nice. So you get, what did I say? It was 30, 15, 15, 30, 36 troops total if you if you get to prestige 7. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's really good. A lot of people like to have extra troops, uh, they really do. Here is the brand new relic, guys. Warrior's Mark. So, there was um, just one of these, the Warrior's Mark things, right? And now they have two. This is going to be the third one. So this is going to become a, uh, another collection relic thing. So we have the Draco relics. We have, you know, the uh, Arco relics right now are not finished. The Marks seem to be like they're going to be a lot more of these as well. Is 50% Titan Fizzle damage, 30% base troop damage, 40% uh, Titan troop armor piercing. Nadia says, hello, bro, what's up? Well, what's up to you? When equipped to Rainus, uh, level 5 synergy, 70% base Titan troop damage and health. At level 10, you got a couple things going on. On ally militia death, 40% chance for Omega militia spell max 3. Really? And this is without prestige. On ally archer death, 40% chance for Omega Archer spell max 3. So you can get another 6 troops on the battlefield. So let's say you are one of the few people that do have him to prestige 7 and you have th uh, 36 troops uh, now you're on the battlefield. So you have 36, now you can have uh, 42 troops on the battlefield with the, his synergy relic. 42 troops! Damn! That a lot. It's it's going to be like a Rihanna, right? It's going to give you a heartache because you're like, I got to kill this one, I got to kill that one. Another one drops, and you think the battle, so next thing it's like, because they're, they're time consuming battles, and that's what I've noticed is it's nothing but time consuming. Nadia says, Arrani says, weak bro, even you do equip him with everything. Yes, but see, we are not here to tell people if it's weak or strong. We are just here to tell people the information. You know, we're not here to diss on the devs, guys. The stream, my stream doesn't do that. We're not here to diss on the devs. We're not here to make fun of Titans. We're just here to tell you what the new, the new prestige is and what the new relics are. Now, I mean, with that many troops on the battlefield, he might actually be uh, pretty good in, like, let's say, Conquest. I don't know if you heard about that one. But um, you remember Achilles, right? Achilles did not even this many troops. Achilles did a lot of troops on the battlefield, and he was able to get to 10. So he might be, he might be the new uh, uh, Achilles in Conquest. Which could be just like an auto battle guy. And then the troops. 
the, sorry, the troops. I hate calling, these are the troops right here. Yeah. These, no, those are actually uh, relics. Okay, so the uh, relics, guys, uh, the Ban of War comes here once again for the third time. I think it's only the third time the Ban of War. Um, I haven't missed out on any, I got both of them, so this could be pretty nice. A uh, Ban of War can be equipped to any Titan, and it's 50% Titan troop all ammo damage, and 20% all troop lane resist, and plus 20% all troop rage resist. Not many relics have uh, this, so it's always good to equip this to any. It works on defense, and it works on attack as well. Yeah. So this could be equipped to any Titan. It's a good build for any Titan, this one here. So it's a good call. Devs put this in here so that uh, people will just do just to get that relic. Which is at... Oh, we, we haven't got to the Millstone Reward yet. Oh. Uh -huh. You'll always see, like when I did the Achilles event with Conquest, right, you always see me doing Banner War. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sky Shackles. 60% Omega Archer armor piercing and 20% Archer's critical and 40% human troop damage. 60% Omega Archer piercing, that's probably the, and then human troop damage. Look at this. So there's. 40% human troop damage. That's all human troops. Uh, yeah, just point that out right there. You can actually use that to manipulate uh, any of your physical troops. So human troops is archers, militia, and spearmen. Yeah, I'm thinking more of attack uh, type of relic than, than uh, defense. Like I said, this one here, I've used it on defense and attack. Uh, mainly on defense, but now that I have three of them, I can go ahead and use one with the, uh, every time. Um, the blood sickle, the blood sickle is seventy percent omega militia armor and forty percent militia void resist, and fifteen percent militia melee and range resist. So there is so this one here, I would probably get this just to put this on Rihanna because Rihanna was reskilled and is a heartache for people. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think I might have actually both of those. I'm not sure if I level them up. We'll go take a look-see afterwards. So this one is... Wouldn't I say what this one is? This is uh, directly after the Tarhans event on the 31st. So 15 UC time... It starts until the 3rd of June, and when does the Tarhan event end? On the 31st of what time? Let me see. At... What? At, uh, oh, I was going to say. I was looking at the beginning time. I was like, what? It's the same time. Nine UC times, so you have... Um, five, six, seven, eight hours difference. It's going to be eight hours in between both of these events. So, so, like, for you guys grinding the event, uh, it's going to take you, uh, like, it's, it's going to take, you're not going to have much of a break. For those of you that are just spending money, just the relics of the event, and you're done, and then you got to, like, later on, uh, do the relics and stuff, uh, good for you, but the grinders are going to have a hard time between, no breaks. Uh, you, we did have a break, though, with Theaters of War. Especially the free to play. The free to play players like did nothing. Maybe some wards, some were warring uh, because they're bored. But mainly, a lot of people just sat back and just waited for the theaters of war to open up again. Uh, so we have that one. We have that one. So the event boosters. Let's go cut to the event boosters real quick first. The boost relic for this event is a source of light. All boost relics will provide additional souls for this battle villains event. Okay, I can't stress more. A lot of people are new, don't know this. So, um, if you have any extra event relics, you can use this in here. Uh, in this one. So, like a lot of free-to-play players, what they're doing is they just finish the event, and then any leftover relics they keep for the soul event. But a lot of people that still don't know are just continuing to use every single relic they have up. But, yeah. 
If your minimum is finish the event, just finish. Save the rest of the relics you have you didn't use for the soul event, so you can get yourself some divine gems. Um, again, the soul event is 1.4 boost is Tarhuns, so you have Tarhuns and Tarhuns as one point, and Tarhuns is also going to be in this one, which Tarhuns can also be good for VP grinders as well, uh, VP um, farmers, all that stuff. You also have Arrhenus, which is from the previous event, and Gaia. You know, a lot of people also can go ahead and, and uh, grind with VP lands with Gaia, or even do lots of wars with Gaia. They have special builds and stuff. Uh, one two, uh, one point two berserkers. Sorry, one point two boost for four star berserkers and three stars. Now let's go see if there's any of those in this event that would help you uh, finish this event. Well, it depends on it depends on what you're doing this events for a lot of people have their own most like people do all the events for divine uh, relics I mean sorry for to get divine relics that you know get divine gems some do these events to get prestige food some some people get this event just because they want to do a YouTube video with Uranus I don't know you know Ranking rewards start at 7,000 Divine Gems at rank 1. Woohoo! I wonder how many people are going to be putting up cuckoo bucks for that. Cha-ching! Yeah, and people have tried to boycott stuff like this, like, you know, and, and still people have spent tons of money trying to get those uh, Divine Gems. So, you, you do have... What appears to be red gems as well, not just all divine gems. Um, so you have the lowest divine gems is 150 and 501 to 1000, and 1001 to 2000 is 3000 red gems. Lowest red gems you're gonna get is 100 if you're way down here in the 40,000 uh, to 10,000 to 100. Wait a minute, what is that? That's that's 1 million? I think it's a 1 million. 40,000 40, to 1 million. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah. So how many event tokens in here? And stuff like that. Let's see. One event token. Two. Three. Four. Five. Uh, five five event tokens. How many divine gems? So you have, I think it was uh, five sixty divine gems in the Tarhans one, and this one is fifty one hundred twenty five two fifty and fifty. I think it was one thousand fifty. Yeah. Let's say you got minimum and you did both of those. It's 1,050. It's 250 is the minimum uh, divine gems. Sorry, 150. Sorry, 150. Huh. So you would still get under um, 11,000 uh, divine gems. Sorry, 1,100. No, it would be 1,100 and... Yeah, I think it's 1,100. Yeah, you would get... Yeah, I hope people don't like go too hard because I personally want to get more than just 150. You guys hear that? The div the divine relics are not that great. You don't need to be trying to get all of you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of course they're fucking great. What else is in here that's that's uh, usable? Red gems. Delta Force says hello. Yeah, you got 2,000 red gems and 14,000. That's pretty nice. You have a rain at 15. So really, only one Titan in the Soul event. Uh, 2,000 red gems. 2,800. Uh, 3,300. Uh, 
3,500. Three thousand five hundred red gems total. Hmm. That's pretty nice. Um. Yep. So what else is there? Like, there's a, there's two, four, what, two, three, three star. Uh, uh, sorry, there's three different four star XP potions. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody got mad, and they're like. Uh, and they put a, a dislike because they're like, we want to talk shit about this Titan. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be leveling up Uranus, right? I'm going to be doing a stream where I level him up with the brand new relic as well. We're going to take him out for some fights. We'll probably be losing more than not. But I also will be one of the first people to show him in Conquest. Assault? I'm thinking not really Assault, but I'm thinking more of a Conquest type of deal. Yeah, so if you just started, you don't have anything for Conquest, go ahead and pick this guy up. Um, definitely want to get the Banner of War. If you don't have the Banner of War, that's a must, must have. If you're going to, you know, do this event just for relics, then yeah, that's definitely a Banner of War, which is, you have to get to rain this anyways. And if you are doing uh, prestige food, right? Then you're going to get one more uh, on your notch, on your belt, for, guess who, Men of Air. And also Tarhan's event right here, which is going to be, going to be four, you know. I'm, I'm thinking about prestiging him uh, more than seven. I have him at seven. So I'm thinking about prestiging him a little bit more. Yeah. But I am also, I think I'm missing the Heart of Syria, which is, is like the only one. I remember because I, t I was telling people on stream one of the one of them one of the dragon slayers I didn't do the whole thing so I missed out on a few relics uh, but I do have I know I have the arm one this one here the bronze kitchen where it looks like an arm and the heart of the egg it's a dragon egg thing the arco though this is the new one that's the new one right there yeah so I don't think though Tarhans is, is reskilled at all so let's go ahead over here and take some looksies at the Moshman. So this is the uh, in the Tarhans event. This is the second four-star Titan, and I wasn't able to uh, get the skills down. So, um, and there was only a couple videos of this. One is from the devs. Thank you, devs. Woo! Thank you, devs, for showing us what it looks like. Yeah. Before before the event starts, and the uh, the other one was Godin, but Go <laughs> Godin didn't level it up, and he didn't show uh, much on the relic size. He had a totally totally wrong relics on there. Oh man, he was just <laughs> he put like all physical troop uh, physical relics on there. It was crazy. I'm like what? Uh, but yeah, that was that was like before he he advanced into uh test accounts and stuff and then uh, Delta Force says how are you I'm good and then Delta Force says do we need to increase Malayne resist on Tarhans um, I don't know that is a good question so what else I was gonna do pictures and here's Tarhans right here we're gonna go play with him for a second I was like Yeah, for me personally, though, Moss, uh, Moss Men is going to be prestige food. Um, Aranus will just be for YouTubing. Probably won't be doing. And uh, that's what I'm thinking, though. Aranus will be a, a conquest uh, titan. And that's pretty much why you're going to keep him. You know? But like I said, if you have Achilles, you probably don't need Uranus. But a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people are just are just joining Dawn Titans. So welcome, guys. He's a Berserker. Oh yes, yeah, so a Moshman is also a Berserker too. Moshman, which is in the Tarhans event, is also a Berserker. So they're both 
fire berserkers. So it's like they're both the same thing. Only one is a dragon slayer. And one is one of the first titans ever. But um, I want to know. Okay, so Tarhens is part of the painted collection. In case you don't have him, let's check this out. Where is it? Yeah. So Tarhands right here is part of the you only need to give to level 40 human It says human fire. Like, huh? Is a berserker. Yeah. So he's part of the painting. And what you're gonna get with for him? You're gonna get the Amber of Dragons, which I already got. Which, I didn't know this has a new synergy effect. What? At the start of battle, call one corrupted troop matching titan element. Uh, it's all corrupted troop health, all corrupted troop element damage, and titan health. Did I didn't know this. Did you guys know that it has a new synergy? What? Um, and then... What about that Ma Mozman guy? Does is he part of the Panther collection? Uh, doesn't look like he's over here. There's it could be this one. No. Okay, so there's that one. Could be in the legendaries. The one that they think is legendary. No? Oh. Oop. So I don't think he is. So Majma's not part of the... Uh, Arrhenus now. Is Arrhenus part of the Panther Collection? Which is the second event. That he would be in. Which one would he be in? Was human to human. Uh, maybe in the Greeks one, because he is a Greek god, right? Poseidon, Artemis, Hades, no. Greeks 2. Yep, there he is. He is. Yep. So if you want to get this. Uh, get him for the panty collection you can level him up to um... yeah, it says level you only have to you only have to get him to level 20 not 40 only level 20 to get that you have to have Zeus and Cronus as well and uh, arrows and you will get the Greek omelet which is 60% all Omega troop element damage. It's also 30% Titan all element damage. Nice. And then you also have t uh, 10 um, 10 percent Titan and troop armor piercing. That's pretty nice. I actually had all those Titans. I got the first one, but I forgot to keep them to level them up. Oh, I gotta do it all over again. There was like two or three panic collections I, I forgot before I prestige them to do this myself. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at that one relic. Okay, so which one to replace? Because I got the arm one. I got the arm one here. This one. Now, where is that damn thing? It's probably I probably have it on the Titan just to fuck I put it on a defensive dragon's flare just to mess with people. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't realize they had a new because when it first came out, it didn't have that synergy effect. Because when the Dragon Slayers first started there was no synergy thing. Now there is. And so we I guess though people we should just start just start checking relics. Like just start checking. All you gotta do is like this, you know. Just start checking them. Is there a energy here? But this one. 
I heard the Warrior's Ring is going to get it too. Warrior's Ring is going to get a Synergy effect. Okay, so what is it? It's the Amber of Dragons? So it's it's actually up. It's up at the beginning. There it is. Yep, see? The Baba Maha Babel, Tarhan's Rasta Mangoria, started battle called One Corrupted. So you're going to get, um, how many corrupted troops? You get five corrupted grenadiers, and then with that, you're going to get another one. You're going to get, I think it's only one, right? Yeah, so you get six total once you have the Amber Dragons uh, leveled up all the way. Once you have it leveled up, and of course you have to have it on the, on the, um, these guys here. That's going to help with ping-ponging. So I got him at six. I'm thinking about getting him up a little bit more. So uh, his, in case you don't have him, some people did miss out. Is 180% tight troop fire damage, 60% base tight and gritted deer health. Start of battle call five cryptic gritted deers. You also have uh, second one is exclusive power, 40% grandeur critical, 180 titan and troop fire damage, two times on attack. So it's attack titan, remember that, not defense. But uh, some people that think that he's easy because he's an attack titan on defense will go ahead and use the wrong titan and lose because those, those grenadiers are for defense. Those grenadiers are to hold the line. Those corrupted grenadiers, I mean. The corrupted grenadiers are. You have 88% Titan, true fire, uh, armor piercing, two times attack. You have eruption, invoke, invoke eruption, 250% Titan of troop health, 30% Titan of troop melee resist on enemy death cast minery, and plus 30% Titan Troop spell fire damage and armor piercing max seven. Fire damage. Uh, Forty percent tight critical. Hundred percent tight in troop armor piercing. Two times attack. Thirty percent tight in troop all element resist. Two times attack. So on attack it's sixty percent. Sixty percent all element resist. So your troops don't will. They're not going to be dying a lot. You know, uh, when you when you fight. When you do like ping ponging, a lot of t titans don't have element resist. This guy does. He's got sixty percent uh, on attack, defense only thirty. Uh, invoke strength of Syria, forty percent titan and troop range resist, forty percent range. Um, every seven seconds is minus twenty percent enemy armor. And plus 20% allied armor piercing with an arrow, max 10. So you gotta draw, you gotta like get him into the battlefield. Uh, get him over there. And then India says, bro, never, bro, never kills easy turns. Not you, I do. <laughs> I, guess, I guess though, it's just you have to know how to do it. You have to know what Titan uh, to kill turns. And the Malayne. Delta Force, so we went through the uh, thing here, and Delta Force got a good point about uh, the Malayne. I'm not sure if he needs it, that's the thing. Uh, but, um, yeah, if he's reskilled, though, put more Malayne in there. Uh, Matt, Don, Hog, Hag. <laughs> so, and I had the Prestige at 6, and I'm gonna, you would unlock another one at 7, so I think about doing that in the in the event. Uh, prestiging him up a little bit more, maybe. I don't know about max. I want to max him, but then I don't. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to save some of the fire ones for upcoming uh, fire brand new meta. Which, and we have. So, so far it's 83% base grenadier damage on enemy death. It's 7% heal on tar huns. And 20% tiny troop fire damage with an arrow max 7. Yeah, I'll tell you what, at a lower level, so check out, my troops are, are at a lower level. I'm currently right now upgrading them. 
I'm currently upgrading them right now to 20. Uh, a lot of people like to raid with Arius. Arius also does similar effects. Arius will shoot fireballs, not meter strikes, at the enemy, even if they're hiding in the trees, because the fireballs can see through trees. We can't. Troops can't, but fireballs can. <laughs> He's also, uh, he's not the best at conquest and assault, but he, he can do it. He can get the job done. Um, I think, though, more for um, conquest. And I can't remember what that stream was about, but I did do that stream. He still, well, he wasn't number one, but he was, he was up there. So, I gotta check my toe here. Hey, we'll do a couple battles then. See what's cool about him is like a lot of titans like this you just come across, right? And you just have to do you just have to train one troop. And uh so far we are getting a boost to fireballs. I'm not sure if it's him or one of the relics. I think I have the relic on doing it. Yep. I have this, the Prometheus Fire for all fire spells. He never kills Tarhans easily. Uh so like some people will have a hard time with him on defense. So I, he's not my first, my number one choice for defense, but I do put him on defense just to fuck with some people that, you know. Well, we're doing a, we're doing another Dragon Slayer. So this Dragon Slayer for his Dragon Slayer right here. So what you do is you can just do all the battles and fight, sit back, enjoy the show. And see how these, the corrupted troops, they don't die that easily versus the, the regular ones. And remember, they are your troop level at 21. So they are at your troop level. You gotta remember that. You gotta put that in uh, your iron sight. There are there. We used to know that, but now there's a lot of things like um, the the epic panthers are 25. The bunker dunks are 25. No matter what your troop level. Uh, what else is 25 that comes out? I think so far that's it. There's probably one more I'm missing. You see, there was no wounded. I went I went really fast, but I'm no wounded. Uh, we can do the next one real slow to show you guys. For him, ping pong is just too easy. It's just it's just too easy. Like, so let's say you're you're one of those people like me that like to grind ping pong lands. You can just go from one to the other, and it does and it doesn't really matter. So. Like these, these ones here. I think though this is the only one that you're gonna have trouble with. This one uh, for mid-level players. If you're attacking max troops, that one. Um, yeah. I think though I was able to take down a um, take down a, a max Hachiman prestige at like 19 troops with him when he first came out. I was actually really shocked. I was like, what? Remember though, I'm getting one extra troop. I don't know which is it, what, where it is. There's a plus sign on it somewhere. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a it's a corrupted grenadier because of the amber of dragons. So I'm getting six of those. And if you put what I noticed though is like I'll put a five star relic on him, and he'll stay alive and sometimes hold the front line for me. But it's definitely like you're attacking like a Hachiman. If he dies, Hachiman is going to bring more troops to the battlefield. There's a lot of troops like that. that if the enemy troops die, uh, they bring also, there's some that are backwards as well. The other way around. A lot of people are going to be pissed like, son of a gun is going to attack all my lands and he's going to get a 14 booster. <laughs> That's right. I personally am going to be going for the next two events because the Tarhuns. I'm going to be taking. Um, I'm going to try to get a world rank. So I did have a troop die. I don't know what died. That's that's crazy. It was probably regular troops. No, we had. I think though one of the corrupted died. Huh.
I got wounded on that one because I don't know what happened though. So at 21 troops, let's take a look. Take a look. 95,000 damage, 56 health, 99 critical, 280 armor piercing, 60% resist, 30 melee range is 56. There is a tiny bit of melee, but I, that might be from one of the relics. Let's check. It's probably from the five star. Titan range resist, no. What if you put the axe of the war on him? <laughs> what if the axe of the war? Let's check it out. Now. 142 damage. 200, 100 critical went up 134. Range is, is max out. Nice, nice. What am I doing with this one? Grenadier, critical, and armor piercing. Yeah. I'm going to have to switch that out. Uh, or is it this one? This one's 40% Titan Health. Uh, Grenadier's, Grenadier's Resist Against Range. Oh, I had that on there because I put them on defense. I wanted the range up. So there's this other, there's this other um, one called the Eunuch Doll. You also have this one is really good. Since I last streamed with them, I got that one. Eunuch Doll, though, is a purely fire and is really good for him. The flame ruin, you don't need that because you don't need fire. You don't need fire. So we have to go down here to the eunuch dolls. Eunuch doll. Tunic doll. Where are you? Where are you? You can even put the lucky lucky clover there, which will last for the last event, and that will give it more resistance. So you don't have any troops dying ever. Hmm. <laughs> I'm getting into the phase soon where I will have a, a build of, of the best relics for each Titan. Pretty soon. I'm pretty sure I will. No, I'm kidding. It's not pretty soon. It's actually going to be a while. You and Adol is really good on him. 142,000 damage. Uh, 240 pressing 140 critical. The range went down to 10, 9 because I took that one relic on that had the range. But you don't have to always do this one because it's uh, just for corrupted troops. There's also Titan Health and, of course, the Synergy effect as well. Start battle called one corrupted back to the Titan element. Okay. You could even, like, I like to put more of rage spells on him that's what I'd like to bring which I I didn't do any but for the stream I will definitely do that yeah I mean it's personally one of my ultimate uh, favorite attack titans I think I like him even more than Gaia and we are attacking Gaia right now um, because at a lower level he is able to take down more bigger titans uh, than, with b bigger troops than Gaia can at lower level. Or maybe it's just because the earth titans are not that great. The earth relics, I mean. Sorry. Let's rephrase that. The earth relics are not as good as the fire relics. And my rage is at 21, so I had four wounded there. So when I am attacking bigger ones, I do get wounded, but ping pong, no. See, that guy, though, I mean, watch. Watch. You'll probably lose against this one. Probably. I'm pretty sure I'll win. See, when you say pretty sure, it means most likely no. Uh, I don't have any of the rage spell. I do have shields might help. Uh, huh, maybe this. That might help. Do I have enough, though, to s sacrifice these guys? I'm just basically going to be probably sacrificing them. Best thing I could do would probably be do auto. Oh, sorry, um, stand ground because the corrupted um, 
Panthers. I was like, what the hell are they called? I said, okay, the Corrupted Panthers are probably going to jump right on top of these guys. And so what you want is them to shoot, to not be distracted. And of course, you want Tarhuns in the middle of it all. Yep. Even with the axes of the war, it's still too much. You could do maybe like this and then see you. Nope. See what I mean? Mid level players can't do it. I knew and I was hoping though it would somehow win, but no. So like he can't beat everything at mid level, but can't beat majority. So what else is there? Anything? So look at this one. This one is basically like a ping pong. It has like a 32. Watch, watch how easy the ping pong is. Watch the clock. Watch the clock. Right, so we start with six minutes exactly. I did auto raid. It is one of those maps the troops gotta run. So 10 seconds, 12, 13, 14, 15. And the fireballs are actually killing t those human troops. The meter strikes, you see that? I think it was 20 seconds. So according to the new man, I don't think he's the fastest raider and they're wounded. There's probably a couple relics I'm going to change. Oh yeah, this one here. Mahaha. Dragon Slayer versus Dragon Slayer. You know, this one though, you have... Um, I guess we can do... Auto, but uh, some of the corrupted tr would land on top. Uh, that's always what they do. I think people were complaining about the corrupted troops landing on top was because of shit like this. They were losing battles. Nope, there we go. We took care of the corrupted uh, Imperials. Look at how, look at that. Just look at the damage they're doing. Boom. 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 Whew. It's like a wall of fire hit them. It's, it's awesome. No wounded from all that. I thought it would get like one or two. So you, you do want to be training troops because you'll be losing a few. So it doesn't specifically say in the blog that his prestige updated or anything. It just says do relics, so. What about new meta? I would actually you know, I should update the uh the Titan versus because he has not attacked the new meta. I wonder if he can actually do anything against the uh Necromancer here. We're gonna go ahead and say. We do auto battle. I don't know if that's going to be the correct way. The bunker dunks are getting hurt. Oh, I'm hurt my guys.
Take care of a, take care of the bunk dogs before anything else. Come on, stop running around in circles. Delta Force says it's pretty cheap update. No. You could probably use that tactic, like, kill the Bonka Donks first, and then have terror spells to get the horde and everybody to go away. Uh, or you could freeze them and then kill them. But it's not, it's not easy. On auto. What about one without prestige? Can we do one without prestige? So like sometimes you do auto battle. Put him in the middle. They got hurt a lot better. That wouldn't that would worked. The auto auto worked. I didn't even know that he could take down one that's not prestige. It looks like it might actually win. Cross your fingers, hope to die. It's close. I don't know if we did something different. Hmm. I'm trying to think though, if I didn't do auto, I did straight attack, that might work. We're also going to be running out of troops soon. Looks like it's. Come on, you guys can do it. If I pull like a reinforcer to hold the line. Wait, where is it? Go, 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 go. No, not enough. Not with this level. See, look how, how many... It looks like it's possible, though. It is possible via, via max troops. Oh. See, what about... Like, look at this one. Can we do this with minimum troops? <laughs> In fact, can we do it with minimum troops? Yeah. How about this? We'll even we'll get rid of it. We'll go in with the with the wrong troop. How about this. 
Because this one's a little easier. Oh, if I, if I had done the Necroman move with the Rage, that might have helped. I didn't know though there wasn't that many meteor strikes as well in attacking ne Necromancer. We did that, see? That's so cool. Alright. So I think that's everything with the blog. Uh, do I have a radius? Let me see if I have him. And he is... A berserker too. Matter of fact, all of them are. All of the Titans upcoming are all berserkers. I just knows that. Huh? No, I don't have him. I think I did. I got rid of him for prestige. It's up to you. Get go do the event for prestige. Do it for divine gems. Do it for the ban of war. Do tarhans for tarhans. Do tarhans for d divine gems. Do it for the new relics, or don't do it at all and sit back and be bored with Dawn Titans. Uh, you know, it's really up to you. It's up to the viewer to decide your fate. Yeah, and why I'm going to collect more divine gems for Archmages. <laughs> I'm a four thousand seven hundred and ninety-one right now, so it looks like. After those two events at the end of the month, I'll at least have um, almost to 6,000 Divine Gems. So, slowly but surely, we're getting there towards the Archmage staff. And then by the time I get there, there'll be another Relic that pop up. Watch. <laughs> I mean, I'll have like a 1,000 or 2,000 Divine Gems saved up, and then another new Relic will pop up. Right as I'm pulling the Archmage staff, They'll be like, okay, we're gonna release the blog tomorrow, <laughs> with the with the new divine ones, and then I'll have to work even, yeah. Even even like the older players have a hard time because um, of all the new relics, you know. Get the two divine titans, they don't want to get. They don't see the saving and the money and the 1.5 boost is, you know, they like to spend the money. They don't like to save any money. Then you have the Arthemis, which older older players have to try to accumulate, and the Amber Relics. A lot of the older players saved up just for those. And then the Archmage staff most recently. The Golden Relics, Norse Relics, the Divine Relics, and the Blessed Relics, most of the older players have those that start out at the very beginning. The smart ones that strategized. Maybe if I had all five star relics on every single Titan, I could be the strongest. You know. But by the way, in uh, in tow, I have, which is thing more, I have fifty eight of those uh, relics of war. Fifty eight of them now. So that's pretty good. So I hope this guy has helped you out. You know, like I said, uh, it's up to you. I'm not here to tell you to do the event or not to do it. I'm just telling you, if you do do it, this is what it's about. If you don't do it, this is what it's about. I hope you guys enjoyed all the information and uh, the little bit of showcase of uh, Tarhans here. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, his health is at 6,052. A lot of people like that. His damage 26. I'm piercing and critical chance 30% right there. If you put the other one on, the other five star, which that I have, this one, it goes up. It goes to 803 on his health, 803,045,000 damage. His damage goes up. Critical and chance, I think, stay the same. Uh, range goes up to 100%, and 30 on the rest. Armor, armor defense, 135. 
So I uh, hope you guys, my next stream, my next trick will be tomorrow. Um, let's see, what time tomorrow? Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking around noonish maybe. Um, I'm going to be doing a, t you know, stream with Tarhuns, obviously, with Tarhuns. Uh, not with the new relic, though. I think I'll just do him. His new, the new relics with him, I'll probably do that the last day of the event. I don't know, I did design. But I will be doing a stream with him, but yeah. We, the new relics, I do, uh, okay, if you guys are new to my streams, I do do every single brand new relic that comes to the stream. I equipped it to whatever Titan they think is that. And then the stream chat we have said, Delta says, stay safe, man. All right, I'll see you guys, like always, on the battlefield. Hold on, this thing, oh, there we go.